Hello, my name is Garen Gardner, and I work for Autodesk. I work on the Fusion 360 team. It's a fairly new product. Some of you may have heard about it. Um, but I'm, I'm a longtime modeler, worked at Autodesk for many years, and um, used a lot of design tools. But I'm new to CAM, something that I haven't done really any of until three, well, I guess six months ago. Over the holiday, I bought a Shiboko 2 um, and uh, set it all up, and I've been using it for a little while. When I first got it, I spent most of my time with Easel. Uh, if it wasn't for Easel, I think I would have had a lot harder time getting on board. Easel was awesome to be able to go in and, and you know do a lot of the a lot of my starting projects. Um, and then as I've kind of advanced, uh, you know, I've wanted to be able to use my models from Fusion 360. And Fusion 360, if you're not familiar, it's a design tool. You can do kind of uh, industrial mechanical design. And then we also have uh, CNC capabilities. So you can generate your, your tool paths and then send that out as G-code. Um, and it just comes with Fusion 360. It's a single environment that kind of brings all this stuff together. So, um, you know, as I got a little bit more familiar with my Shiboko, I started modeling things on uh, Infusion and then starting to, to cut it all out. Um, you know, it, it does ramp from a little simpler, a bit simpler with Easel. There, you, you definitely kind of go to the next level of the modeling aspect and controlling the G-code and all that. Um, I don't want to sound like I'm too intelligent in it because I'm just starting out on the cam side. So I'm, I'm, like I said, a bit of a noob. Hopefully you guys learned something of the process. A um, lot of, lot of experience on the cat, the CAD side, not so much on the cam. Um, but a few months ago, uh, I started playing around. I wanted to design a charging station. So, uh, you know, I have, uh, with the tablets, the phone, watch, I wanted to charge all of this at night. So I um, had some really awesome walnut that my dad gave me that uh, I thought was really cool. So I wanted to be able to use that to make a charging station. A little thick here. I should have planed it down a little bit. Um, but I have a port or a, a, a USB charger in the back. It's an anchor charger. Just got it off of Amazon. It's like 15 bucks. Uh, five port. Pretty awesome. Um, anyway, so I wanted to put that all together. Uh, I actually used easel to do all of it. I uh, kind of measured my lumber, the cuts. I mean, it was really simple to, to do. That was awesome. Um, but I made this. It's on the side of my bed. Love charging, charging things with it. Um, the only problem is uh, I liked it so much and I realized I have three kids and I have like phones and tablets and my GPS for my bike. Um, you know, there's just lots of things to charge. So I wanted to be able to have uh, one of these downstairs that I could charge all of my all of my other devices and everybody could, could use that. And I wanted to make it um, out of walnut and make it look really nice. So did uh, I've done a bit of design work. In fact, let me pull up this particular design that I've been working on. If I can find it. There we go. Um, so I, uh, I, this is a rendered, vi a rendered model from Fusion 360, just a quick rendering, but, you know, I wanted to be able to have plenty of room for the, the mobile devices and uh, have the charging station on the back that I could do all the charging. So with this, I wanted to, to do the design work in Fusion 360 and then push that all over to my Shiboko. So it added a little complexity, a little more learning, but... The nice thing about using Fusion is there's a lot more control I have over the tool paths, the order that it cuts, um, you know, more granular settings. So, you know, it's kind of getting into, I guess, the more advanced capability. So, uh, you know, if, you're, if you've used Easel for a while and, and want to, to do some, you know, have a little bit of control over some of those things, uh, Fusion 360 may be a, a great way for you to do that. But at any rate, I wanted to show the project. Uh, I'm going to share the files with you as well. Um, and all this information you can have, and, and I've set it up in a way that it's pretty easy to, to go in and make changes and kind of make it your own. So hopefully, um, hopefully you'll you'll see a cool little design, and uh, yeah, go from there. So that's that's kind of the beginning of it, and I'll go through the process of the design, and then also getting that out to the Shiboko and actually start cutting.